Okay, Ebusu, I'm going to talk about some of OG media. So, you remember the political highway, so highway, and some baby also I am so yeah, Japanese. You remember me having a phone, a hoodie, a call, and a dear, a buy and buy and some of them. I'm going to say, aye, NDC youth, and I'm going to say, aye, and I say, I'm going to pay NPP printing press. Ebusu, I'm going ballot papers. Eguma. Sa omuko bo epi omuko omuko sana ebusuya omu yamo si omwa na national security officer ba kwa ebusuya emika tenta or di free mono ebusuya NDC youth no omu chese afi omu ni abre be dia NPP four no omu ru amu pesa omu regulation dia no omu omu bo ru ahobi na ebusuya beshe printing press o chese yinja omu na chese omu nse nyama ewo printing press o na e the pressure aba james aso abusuya kevin taylor aba be true hot fire to say wasan so abobo bobo e din behind omo a omo she sa illegal printing press no a omo print ballot papers na to say enye asan ketu akwa to say omo nka omo a omo print ballot papers no hobi we die e ye npp officials na gasa na akwa akwa bo sa printing press na Ah, actually, eh, printing press no. Your friend no. Eh, I M P printing press. Actually, eh, eh, what a cra. Any easy cra. I answer my brain. Every person, every me, I build a phone. Every me, I call na. I have a kuti. I answer my calls. Every message. Taylor, my producer, T twenty four in Ghana. Our job here is to direct you, guide you, tell you the truth, protect the democracy of Ghana, and to make sure that John Dramani Mahama and the NDC come back to protect our democracy. Um, so people have uh, gone to uh, the printing press and um, uh, right now they are giving us updates and what is happening is when they went there they saw one national security guy there right now uh, people at uh, Newtown right now went to the location and shockingly enough when they went there, there was one guy there who says he's national security guy. Um, uh, they said the guy just said he, he was just national security. He was just there and he got on a motorbike and just um, drove off. Um, so he saw the number of people coming there and then he left. Hey. So there, there are people at the location now. The guy I'm going to know on also age one national security, but oh who ni panano mo bano? I think he has the keys and stuff. And I'll see. Okay, so the guy just left. Um, he okay. So the people are there waiting for them to open because from this afternoon, I'm starting to say almost print it ballot papers. Eh, what sa a yet printing press wo. So when they went there, the guy says, oh, a national security. In fact, when I open the phone lines, Accra New Town 4 can call. Um, I, um, Mr. P, Mr. S, um, can we get, can we get, what do you guys think? Should we open the phone lines for people or uh, more area or Accra New Town? No? Uh, we should give them like five minutes. There are a few things we need to cover. Um, Mr. S, Mr. P, what do you think? Do we allow those at Accra New Town to also call into the show um if at least when you pay back on a more to give us a rundown when they went there where they saw uh mr s mr p okay what do you guys think you are still in um okay okay my team is still in contact with them they are talking to the guys on location if it is it is it is i'm gonna say it when it is right they'll give me the signal to um um allow the phone calls to come in um something happened today Something happened today. Um, the government of the day today met a MPP, NDC4, 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 Omane Boama, John Mahama, Asiedun Ketia, tonight as I speak, they are printing ballot papers at Newtown. I'll give you guys the location right now. Newtown, they are printing illegal ballots as I speak. NDC4, Omane Boama, tonight as I speak, right now, Accra Newtown, 
the NPP, Samia Ukumu, they are printing a ballot paper as I speak. I'll give you people location right now. More and more new town. I need to tell you. And both political parties are intensifying their campaign, trying to get you to make a choice, to choose them, to be the ones that are getting news with your friends and family. That the end of is enough. Yes, I'm very ready to vote. I have. You already know who it is that you want to vote for. I'm very clear in my mind. Very clear in your mind who yes, you want to vote for. Exactly. And you are not shy to tell anybody who it oh, is that no. you want to vote for. Not at all. Mm. Yes. Interesting. We'll get into you know what that choice is. But all right. you're, you're somebody who has been through student politics and you've held many portfolios yeah. in the new patriotic party. How, how how did it all start for you? This. With well, it was, it was when I went to KNUSD in 2013. And when I went to KNUSD, well, for some reasons, people kept on coming to me with their problems yeah. for me to solve. Mm -hmm. In my own little way, I was just doing my best. That is even what gave me the name People's Mother. My colleagues and friends started calling me by that name because okay. I was just always there for people. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to see women thrive, you know. People in need and people were vulnerable on campus, on Kenya University campus. And so I eventually became TESCON Women's Commissioner. TESCON is a student hub of the new patriotic party. So I became TESCON Women's Commissioner. I proceeded to become Hall Women's Commissioner, Independence Hall. It's a hall on campus. Right. And I also became majority leader for Kenya University Students Parliament. And eventually, I contested for the SRC portfolio, and I won overwhelmingly, and I became the SRC Women's Commissioner. Mm -hmm. So it's always about women. The passion has always been about women. And I that is where it all started. So the, why I joined Tesco was just to have a platform for, you know, we all had it in this country, the economic messiah, the economic waistcoat. Mm -hmm. So I was excited mm -hmm. to have the opportunity to work closely with him, book his appointment at the campaign office, sit in his meetings and write his minutes, serve him his coffee, his food, and whatever he may assign me to do. And also did travel sometimes with him. So it was very exciting, mm -hmm. I would say. But along the line, I realized Dr. Baumia lacked leadership. He was not just my boss. He was like a father to me. Mm. At a point in time, an incident happened at the office. Mm. But I'm not going into details now. I won't go into details. But with the approach to that particular situation, I realized it lacked leadership. Mm. I realized that. What was the approach? His approach lacked boldness, firmness, fairness, and courage. Really? And these are essential qualities of any good leader. But there's a leader who is saying he has bold solutions, you know, for the people of Ghana. He has you are no saying he lacks boldness in taking decisions at his office? He, he cannot. You know, I came to the conclusion that with what happened, he's easily manipulated and dictated to. Really? It's sad, but people control Dr. Baumia. Seriously? People tell him what to do. And it's sad that a leader will not have an opinion of his own. It's sad. This is the vice president of the country you're talking about. Well, he holds the position, but who is he when it comes to his leadership style? That is what we are talking about. What did you see at the office which is making you jump, or should I say arrive at this I would say, I, 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 I still don't go into the issues. I know you're trying to push me. Mm. But with his approach, when it comes to solving issues, putting his foot down when it matters the most, mm. Pulling the bull by the horn. Correcting people when they are misbehaving. He cannot even correct a group of about 10 people working around him when some are misbehaving. So it saddens my heart that people will think he can handle the affairs of our beautiful country of over 32 million people. I don't think Dr. Baumia can. He will be overwhelmed. Ghana will not be safe under there's a lot. There's a lot in this, oh. Don't just see like that. Nipe wum. Nipe wum. This girl doesn't want to say it on air. And she knows what Samira can do. 
odi sab baumia onim nyanse obetumi ene nipa tenkura tena dem and it has got to do with other women and at a point a do point be a nyinse abem ms samira e baumia enware obi oso onye samira so onye obebotu o you know where this thing is going do you know where it is do you know the damage samira mo mo ye do you know what baumia mo mo ye this is uncanny you know eh they have done crazy stuff. And you don't see Baumia so Jimmy Jimmy. Huh? Baumia did not pretend man want to handle him. And the coup for the Gabi mo mo nim. Girl we or Baumia Edo or Baumia the two coin at that at that hotel backum. A pie or ma Baumia do any di. We who Baumia naked nesda. On him they all catch him. There's some deadly stuff happening now. All train away from. She knows, she said, these people are crazy. Don't see the election as a joke, Keke. That is why Baumia is desperate. We're in your power. As soon as we see Baumia, you people will be shocked. So, Baumia, so right now, see, you couldn't put 20 on the president. And who? He needs the power because Samira is here power. Baumia, where is Jimmy? And Samira Baumia is here power. No. Samira Baumia. On the links, I will Burkina Faso, full and new for no more. So, as as on your money, link you or your power, and the idea because she doesn't see herself so again. Any it's all here to me, no Samira, or here to me, no or the sort of about me. I get to me, now dear, be obey your Morgana. Now, my mom breaking news, and this goes to a NDC. I'm sending a more and more Accra New Town right now. Go to this location, they are printing ballot papers right now. Accra New Town, opposite Sakura T, around 55. Go there right now. They are printing ballot papers. Me say, Muamote Accra New Town, you know, right now. Opposite Sakura T, around 55. You people around Accra New Town, printing personnel, or no, they are printing ballot papers now, now. Samia ukumu ne mwamu se ejumano. Eye kusibu atimu ne mwamu se ejumano so mwenye. They are printing now. Those people at Accra New Town, right now, right now, now, go there. Mame Mamu location, and all the people at Accra New Town, you know what I'm talking about. When you go to Accra New Town, Sakura T, Sakura T, around 55, or printing press, the Ohono, almost print ballot paper, the NDC youth around that area, go to the printing press right now, it's happening. Go there right now. That's where the printing press is. They are printing right now. Ballot papers. Samia Uku, Kusibu Atimo, NMSI instructions now more printing. Go there right now. Right now. Right now. And I'm going to pick phone calls in the next five minutes from that Accra, Newtown area. Sad place wo, Machiremo. Eh, they in Sakura T. Sakura T. Around 55 one more. It is happening. So, my mama wa wa Accra New Town. I've given you the location. I've given the printing press. Baby, I wa wa mo area. When I go there right now, that's what they are doing. I'll, cut, I'll get back to you. Mama, me too. Me wa print it. Aye, papers. No, it is next to the MPP aye office. Ah, aye wa Accra New Town. That is where the printing is happening. Around aye Sakura T. Aye fifty five. I guess I, I hope I'm right. Um, yes. Aye uh, around aye Sakura T. Around far five. Around far five. Printing press in your friend IMP Press. They are printing ballot papers right now. Uh, next to the NPP office. Uh, next to the NPP office. This is a printing presser. Uh, more air printed ballot papers right now. It is next to the NPP office. Uh, or Accra New Town. That is the place right now. That is what they are happening. That is what is happening there. And that is what they are doing. Samia Ukumuni MPP for no NSC Omonia Sadiano. Around 5 5. Printing press in your friend IMP Press. I'm gonna almost print it ballot papers right now. Right now. Mo amo ye constituency chairman wa Accra New Town NDC for mo amo ye a ye a ye citizens are you want the right thing to be done. You need to question them. One amo ne ma amo the authority. A dear authority. A ye easy the ma amo authority no to print those ballot papers in Yumbri. Ask them right now. One amo ne ma amo authority ni se amo print it a ye a ye ballot papers and a they are in there they are printing. So that's it. I'll give you more on that. 
Now, uh, when it comes to a year, when it comes to a year um, using the military, yes, uh, Mr. P, it's right, it's right. That it, yeah, that's all, yeah, it's right, Mr. P, that's it. Um, I was talking about a year nyawutamaklo asema okaye, and why we should not underestimate nyawutamaklo statement when it comes to ekufuado any day omo pese omo de den omo de a year. Military for the Omanya Papa no essay ye ye politics no. Printing started a we no it started around two pm Ghana time. A we are no started printing. No, they've been printing since afternoon. They are there right now. Go there. I'll open the phone lines very soon. We need to hear what's there. Now, now time of class, we can we know. Miss Abbe Chiramo, a year surveillance, be a year to a year. A branch of your friend, a year Lord Komi, Neso. And this surveillance has been for about two to three months. I got my team to follow a uh, year Lord Kome around because he's one of those guys uh, why not you say he doesn't care to kill to maintain power. So in Election 2020, his own bodyguard killed or murdered a young Ghanaian. He feels he's so powerful. Now, Lord Kome is collaborating with some military officers and they are moving some a uh, year ballot papers around in fact i'm going to show you some things tonight and i want lord Komi to understand the say sadi oyen and in fact i'm going to show the military men their faces what and the day and time and what they did i want them to understand the say the democracy we want to maintain is very important and this government these people sai ku for and for we know they just want to mess this nation up now these are the gentlemen a year lord Komi. AUZ, right now, they are moving ballot papers around some weapons. And Lord Kome is leading that because Uber Jubilee House, Lord Kome, and the head of operations. And the EBA moving ballot papers, moving weapons internally. Lord Kome is in charge of that. We put surveillance on Lord Kome, his movement to uh, the military barracks, out of the barracks, to some of the printing presses are EC. And from there to Winneba and to some hotels where they are using as storages are almost the air they keep ballot papers. After your marking knows about this, he's involved in this uh, ballot uh, printing any uh, uh, hoarding of uh, illegal materials for the elections. After your markings, only what I'm talking about now. This follow this story very well, and it's 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 got to do with now. Before I go, before I move on with the story, maybe some can't same way. This gentleman, his name is Aye Justice Agbo. He has been picked up by the national security. They want to kill him. This gentleman, the dean at the Justice Agbo. I don't know him. My source from Aye the Jubilee and the National Security Office, you know, Mr. Kandapa. This young man has been picked up. And the national security, some people want to take care of this gentleman. They picked him up this morning. This evening, they are on him. His name is Justice Agbu. The national security, they want to kill him. I don't know the information this guy has. Uh, and I say he has. Uh, they, they, he was kidnapped this afternoon. The, mili the national security led that. As we speak tonight, you should start asking questions. If this guy is not seen on the streets of Ghana again, a national security led by Kandapan or picking up. This young man, your friend of Justice Agbu, the national security, and are picking up because of his affiliation to the NDC. If the family is around Ghana, Omo M find it, this guy is whereabouts, they should make it public. If the police are picking him up, they should tell the, the police should tell them what he has done. Because my information for the national security said they want to silence this young man. This gentleman has been picked up by the national security. The whole day he was in their in their in their in their in their in their in their, in their, in their uh, office. They want to try and take him off the streets. I don't know what they need from this gentleman. And what I know, this gentleman has not committed any crime. It's a for M Fred M a gentleman. I would name baby or war. Try and find out baby or war. Some of them are the protection, a moment of protection.
Kandapa, the NPP National Security, they want to kill this gentleman. They will pick him up. This afternoon, they picked him up. Whatever they did to him, no? Almost say, Uncle Fie, they are going to pick him up again. That is what they are trying to do tonight. Okay? Now, my men, child, dear Lord, come here, yeah. Lord, come here, any some military officers be are doing something very... Okay, I was going to win it and some of them also a political high winner. So, I hear Kevin Tiller and I just say a baby drop is a expose. We are NDC youth as Thomas are printing press. What I say on my shaky war and yeah, as I'm kept to a cry. Yes, I'm on my but I must say, Mojapin and Coco Tisa, Ojimi, Edimai, aha, APOG media. So, you know what I say.